Hello guys, uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we're going to discuss how to convert an image uh, to a grayscale image, and, um, and then how to save an image. Uh, and what's a grayscale image? So we talk more about grayscale image. So what to do to like uh, convert an image into grayscale image? So you like use the same uh, function in read. So but put comma zero here so that actually converts your image into a grayscale image so what's actually a grayscale image so in a normal image you have uh, it's actually a three-dimensional matrix uh, first two dimension representing the size of the matrix and then uh, i mean the, the length and width of an image and then uh, the other the third dimension representing the color channels pg r or rgb so the cv2 reads an image in a bgr color format and uh, matplotlib shows the image into uh, RGB color format. So yeah, it depends. So now what we're doing is we're going to convert that uh, RGB channels into a grayscale one. So what does it mean? It's actually from uh, instead of having a three-dimensional matrix, you have a two-dimensional matrix, but the pixel values will be from zero to two five five. So that will make easy for image processing fine cool so now let's see how to do that so you all you have to do is put zero over here next to the image they are reading so when i call this um, gray scale so we do in show for gray scale and then uh, and then we see, we see the shape of grayscale. F five. So this is actually a grayscale image, but when you see it on Matplotlib, you can't actually see. But the good thing is you can actually see the numerical values. So my mouse pointer is like on top of his forehead. So if you see at the bottom right corner, you can actually see the pixel value like where the mouse pointer is. Uh, three comma, I mean three fifty-eight comma one twenty-eight. The pixel value over there is one sixty-eight. It's not uh, uh, BGR, the three-dimensional uh, pixel information anymore. It's actually one-dimensional pixel information. So if I take it over here, it's zero because it's zero. In the grayscale, zero represents uh, black, and then all the way up to pure white which represents uh, represented by numerical value of 255 okay so yes so now we know how to access the pixel <laughs> values in grayscale so we we actually found that it's actually that a one dimensional matrix just uh, an information so you could also cross check it like it will also execute executed so when we executed the size when we like we executed the command on the size of the colored image it's actually three dimensional matrix but in this case it's just a two dimensional matrix <coughs> so you could get a feeling of what's actually happening so now i go copy cv2 cv2 dot in show Grayscale, comma the image that I want to show. Save. <coughs> I I mean those things. I want. I don't want to see it in Matplotlib. So now you could see it's actually a pure black and white image. So this is a grayscale image. Now now it's easy for us to do the processing because it's actually a two-dimensional image. So okay. Now let's see how to save this image. So now you have converted, you did some processing, blah blah blah, and then converted the image into grayscale. Now let's see how to save this image. Uh, cv2 dot in write function. So now you, I call this. This is the name of the final file, I think. So and then this is the actual file that you want to save. F file. Put in final item for specified extension. Minus JPG. 
Wow, okay. This is the name of the, the final name of the image. So let's go to the location where my code are. Here is the image that we have saved. So you, you do processing and all those things and then you want to save it. So this is the command or the function in OpenCV to save. So it takes two arguments. It takes the name of the image. I can give it my name, ruben.jpg. And the actual uh, the matrix information of the image, which is uh, this one, that you get once you convert the image into test it. Save this. And I go to my location and see. I could actually see. Oh boy, no, 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 no. Ruben. Yeah, this is. So you could actually name it as whatever you want. Cool, all is cool. I see you guys in the next video with more processing, image processing information. So, yeah, stick with this. So, we'll just uh, improve the vision of our computer cameras. Cool, thanks for watching this video. See you guys in the next video tutorial. Bye for